I know I'm late to the party, but I still just have to talk about the grimoire because I think this is a massive change to the Warframe meta the same way that the new Archon shards are. But do not just recite everything that has been said before, I also prepared a little special treat for you at the end of the video. So after a huge shout out to all my generous channel members who helped me keep the lights on, let's take a look at it. And of course, a happy and successful new year to all of you. 2023 has been extremely successful for this channel and without you, it wouldn't have been possible. So thank you so, so much for all your support. And now let's get going with 2024, shall we? All right, the Grimoire. This is a new weapon that was also added with the Whispers in the Wall update and it is a secondary weapon of the new Tome type. At first glance, it doesn't seem to be anything special, just a slow firing, fully automatic secondary weapon, albeit one with a very cool magic book animation. However, if we're taking a closer look at our crosshairs, we see there is a bar. This bar, when completely filled, can unleash a powerful secondary fire, spawning in a slow moving electric orb that zaps enemies in a 6 meter radius. Now, let's quickly also talk about how we charge up this bar. It is very important for the rest of this build video. First off, if you don't do anything else, it will slowly fill up automatically. However, you don't really want to wait for this. In order to charge it faster, what you need to do is, and I want to be very specific with my wording here, you want to make sure that your Grimoire's projectiles hit enemies. It doesn't matter where you hit them, whether head or body shot or even with the small AOE on ground impact. It doesn't matter whether you kill them or not, in contrast to Incarnon weapons. And it also doesn't matter whether you only hit one or multiple enemies at the same time with one of the projectiles. However, the reason why I say projectiles is, if you shoot multiple at the same time, you know, if you install multi-shot mods on the weapon, then each and every single one of these multi-shot projectiles will count as individual hit, therefore charging up the meter faster. Meaning, the more multi-shot you have, the fewer hits you will take to fully charge this bar. Also, I just gotta mention the fire rate, because the standard fire rate of this thing might as well be a bolt action sniper rifle because it is atrociously slow. You really want to invest in high fire rate on this thing, otherwise it's gonna take ages before this bar is full again. But you might be wondering, why is it so important to fill up this bar in the first place? I mean, all in all, the alt fire doesn't seem to be all that strong now, is it? Well, this neatly leads over to the next topic of this video, which would be eight new mods that were also introduced alongside the grimoire with the last update, those being the four canticle and the four invocation mods. These eight are exclusive to tome type weapons, which at the current date, the grimoire is the only one off in the game. Let's start with the invocation mods first. What these four do is they either give you ability strength, ability duration, ability efficiency or energy recharge based on how many enemies you manage to hit with your alternate fire. This is potentially a huge boost and also the reason why I was saying these mods are meta changing. Because if we're looking at the numbers, then for example, Vome Invocation with its 4% boost for ability strength that can stack up to 15 times means this mod potentially could yield up to 60% more ability strength to your Warframe, which is a huge deal. Same, by the way, goes for duration and efficiency, because remember, these are secondary weapon mods. They add to your Warframe's power without taking up any build space of the Warframe itself. And uh, talking about Zata Invocation with the energy recharge, depending on which Warframe and which build you're playing, this one might as well be enough on its own to completely supply your Warframe with the energy that they need. And now that we know all of this and how strong these mods potentially can be, we also of course know why we want to recharge our alternate fire with the Grimoire as fast as possible, because these mods are being triggered by hitting enemies with your alt fire, meaning you want to use that quite frequently. Let's also now look at the Canticle mods. These work a bit differently in that they don't need the weapon's alt fire, however they need the weapon to kill enemies in order to be triggered. Also, at any given time, you can only ever have one invocation and one canticle mod on the Grimoire. Now, in my personal opinion, Foss and Yahoo Canticle are pretty useless or at least situational in that what they provide isn't all that strong after all. However, Low Canticle for more fire rate for the entire squad is pretty good and Croc Canticle, allowing for the drop of universal orbs on enemy death, 
is great for both energy and health supply. Or at least it would be if you could get consistent kills with the grimoire. Now, why did I phrase the last sentence so pessimistically? Well, that leads us to the next chapter, and now we're going to talk about how to actually build the grimoire. Because first off, when we take a look at the stats, they do not look all too special. They are pretty much the definition of mediocrity in the game right now. We have an average crit chance with an average crit multiplier and an average status chance and do pure electricity damage, which all in all is probably not the best damage type in the game. So getting back to the four canticle mods, which all require you to kill enemies with the grimoire, this is actually not all too easy, especially when you play at very high steel path levels, because the weapon just doesn't have the damage output for that. So knowing all that, I came up with three different build options for you. In case, against all odds, you still want to go for kills to trigger the canticle mods, this super standard hybrid build with both crit chance, crit damage, status chance, and normal multi-shot and elemental damage will probably do the job just fine. By the way, the invocation and canticle mod slot in all builds are up for personal preference. If you want to recreate this build but are more on a budget, then this would be the cheaper variant. But in my opinion, the best way to play the grimoire is as a pure utility weapon, meaning we ignore the damage dealing, ignore the canticle mods altogether because they're not that great at the end of the day, and purely go for fire raid, multi shot for a fast recharging alt fire to trigger the invocation mods that we need. This would be the build for it, rounded up with some elemental mods of your choice for a little bit of status priming. So, now that we know what exactly the weapon can and can't provide and how it works, let's also look at some nice synergies or scenarios in which this would be a great addition to your loadout and make a lot of sense. First of all, caster-type warframes who don't really use weapons all that much at all really love this weapon. I'm thinking about maybe Zaku using this to buff up the damage output by adding more ability strength, or if you have struggle with your energy supply, you could also use it to give them more juice. Then, of course, all types of melee warframes that can easily switch to the secondary weapon, which you would usually use to prime enemies. Now you can switch to the Grimoire instead, do a bit of priming and also trigger your invocation mods again to then have a stronger Warframe as a consequence. In general, pretty much every Warframe that does not rely on primary weapons to deal the most of their damage is a good candidate for the Grimoire. Also, another thing to keep in mind is, since you want to hit as many enemies as possible with your alt fire, loadouts that have some capability of grouping up enemies, no matter how you do it, will generally prefer more from the Grimoire than those who can't. As for the use of Kentacle mods, well, on lower levels where the enemies die faster, they might be a nice addition for you and the team. However, all in all, I don't think that on the Grimoire in specific, these are all that great because it just doesn't have the punch. However, we might see some more Tome-type weapons in the future, and maybe they will be stronger so that the Canticle mods can actually have some use in higher level play. I mean, one can still dream, right? Also, if you could maybe leave a like, that would be absolutely amazing because it's a huge support for the channel, so thank you so much for that. And now, let's come to the thing that I promised you at the beginning of the video, the little treat that I had prepared for you for the end. I'm sure most of you remember my super crazy Mesa video from last week. And in the comment section, many of you had some great suggestions how we could make this Mesa even stronger, one of which involving the Grimoire. So, in order to show you what this book is capable of, let's go over how exactly these changes look like. Now, what I did originally in that video is I used the Bronco as secondary weapon with its special mod dizzying rounds to open up enemies for melee finishers to then be able to melee finish enemies in order to buff up my melee crescendo stacks. However, this didn't only take a long time and was tedious, but also forced us to use the Bronco, which isn't really a good weapon, in our secondary slot. However, some of you mentioned something genius that I completely wasn't aware of, and that is that you could use the Void Snare skill from the Vazarin Focus School to open up enemies for ground finishers, therefore not needing the Bronco with dizzying rounds. This not only opens up the pistol slot for any secondary of our choice, but is also very much more convenient and faster. And uh, with this subtle change, we can then throw out the Bronco and use the Grimoire. Since that Mesa build is all about secondary weapon fire rate anyway, the slow fire rate of the Grimoire is not going to be a problem at all. 
So we can then put Vome Invocation on the Grimoire to give us even more ability strength, making both the Nourish and therefore the Viral Damage bonus and our Regulators even stronger with an even crazier damage output. As you see, absolute monster. Thank you so much for this genius idea. So, thanks to the Grimoire, our crazy busted Mesa got even crazier. And just in case you haven't seen the whole build yet, then you absolutely gotta check it out right here. Another massive thank you to Akimbo Fate, Niels V, Lamies, Demon Lord Zell, Bland Waffle, Demon Emperor, Emperor Prime, Roskamese, Nos Linux Gaming, Archaic Lycan, and all other generous channel members for your generous support. We see each other, hopefully in the next one, and until then, as always, Good loot.